Okay, take five. Hey, NES Complex here. You're watching Linda. Okay. Hey, everybody. I am long overdue for a pickups video. I missed basically several months. But we're going to crack into what I got over March, April, and May. And then it's a very small pile because of the simple fact that I'm going to two conventions back to back. And I'm saving up my money for that. But I did pick up a lot of stuff, so I'll just show you what I... So in, when I was in Europe in March, I went to several game stores and I picked up a couple DS games and a lot of PSP games because I was going for games that I know either I have a system that I can... or the systems are region free. So the first one that I got was Rooms. It's a puzzle game. It's super intriguing to me, so that's why I picked that one up. Next one is Tony Hawk Motion. It had the rumble pack with it. After that, I got Echo Shift. Hot Pixel. What I did to deserve this, my lord, to Gangs of London. I kept the sticker. <laughs> one of the few times I kept stickers on my games. And the last one was Lord of Arcadia. Now there was a couple movies that I picked up and one of them was in March and I had forgotten that I had that and I had done a pickups video before and I was going to throw it into April's but then I, I missed April so that was Double Dragon when they released it for Blu-ray. I love that movie. I had to pick it up again. The next one is Robocop. Love the original Robocop. Picked up the one that was cheap because I'm not going to pay for a movie that I barely saw. The next movie I got was Widows. Love me some Michelle Rodriguez. Loved her in several movies. I always get a movie that she's in. Next one is Bohemian Rhapsody. I love Queen and I love their songs. So I can't remember if I showed this, but I'm going to show it again if I did. And that is I got the second Maze Runner Death Cure. Uh, I know there's a trilogy, I'm not going to pick up the trilogy. Reggie likes these movies, so that's the only reason why I'm getting these is because of that. No offense to anybody who likes them, just not my cup of tea. I didn't like the game either. And lastly, I got only two games, which were limited run games, and I unboxed these on the channel, so that's why I saved them for last, because you already saw them. First one was Double Switch. Still can't beat this game. It is a hard-ass game to play. And also, it keeps freezing on me. Is anybody else having an issue with this? If you are, please let me know why and when it freezes on you. Because I get barely to, like, the first or second trap. Like, I drop the guys or the people that are the bad guys, and then they, they freeze. I don't know why. And the next one is Jack and Daxter. Like always in my pickups videos, I give a code of free first comp, first serve. You see it on the screen, you have five seconds or less sometimes because people will be fast these days to get the code. So I'm going to give away Widows because it is a good movie and not a lot of people are hearing or talking about it. So I'm going to give it to the first person and here we go. Three, two, one. So I hope you got the code and you enjoy the movie. It is a kick-ass movie, guys. And the twist is really good. At the end. I didn't expect that. Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and this is an add-on to a clip that I found in my computer for pickups that I did a while back. So this is basically going to be for Too Many Games and for Siege. So pretty much what we're going to do is take a look at what I got at Too Many Games, and then we'll jump right into what I got at Siege. And then from there, thanks to Video Games Monthly, courtesy of them, I am able to give away a sealed copy of Wario Woods. It is sealed, guys. This is ridiculous. They are too kind. So let's start off with the pickups and let's jump right into this beautiful thing. So at Too Many Games, I did not really pick up a lot of games. I was mostly there just to get to know everybody. That was my goal, was just to get to know everybody. Say hi to all the new friends and my friends that I've been talking forever to that I finally got to meet. And so I only got five games from Too Many Games, which sounds ironic. But the first one is I went to Limited Run Booth first to make sure I grabbed one. 
and I got myself Double Dragon. I made sure I picked that up. And then I also got for PlayStation 2 Air Blade. This one is, I believe, Superbikes Real Road Racing. I'm not sure if Suzuki is in the actual title. Evolution Skateboarding is the next game that I got. Johnny Mosley's Rad Tricks is the next one that I got. And I also forgot that I did pick up John Riggs's Kenzie's Beer Run. I did get a hack from him on that one. So let's move on to Siege. So at Siege, I got a couple like giveaway stuff like that. PlayStation was there, I picked up a pen. <laughs> Video Games Monthly was there and I picked up a bunch of things to hang on my door. This is my favorite. It literally says I am playing with my joystick. I love this one. I'm going to put that up there. <laughs> now I talked to Russ Lyman and I made sure that I got a controller from him. I wanted a specific controller. I didn't know what he makes. He always makes random ones. And I was like, you know what, Russ, can you make me a controller? And he said, what do you want? And I said, Mortal Kombat. So he made me Mortal Kombat. So the top, the front is Sub-Zero and on the back is Scorpion Colors. So literally he did an awesome job. Dude is really good at making. So I needed a new one because my old one clunked out. And thank you Russ for that one. Next one on the list is actually a gift from Caitlin. Caitlin was awesome and she is a great artist and she drew me And she handed it to me. She framed it and everything. She didn't have to do that. So thank you, Caitlin, if you're watching this. I'm definitely going to find somewhere on the wall to put this or hang it somewhere because I'm afraid. I don't know where I'm going to put this. But I'll let you guys know on Instagram when I put this up, where I put this. So after I stopped over to Russ Slyman, I went over to BP Retro. I know he makes reproductions and hacks and all that stuff. So I went to him and I asked him what he had available. And it was up for grabs. I was either going to get Deadpool or this game and I picked up this game. It is literally Ghostbusters 2 but it is a hack so I get to play a lot more characters than just what they had originally have. And the one thing I love about this is glow in the dark. I haven't put it in my room yet but it's glow in the dark. I just grabbed it out of my bag. So while I was watching Aaron aka Riff when he was doing his panel they had people come up and do a question and answer kind of thing. Basically, it was you come up, you guess a close-up of somebody, and if you get it right, you win a prize. And thankfully, I got it correct. Mine was Metal Jesus, and I won a Switch game. I am super happy. I'm going to get a Switch soon. So this is my first official game to add to the collection. And I want to thank Riff, a.k.a. Aaron, a.k.a. Riff, for letting me pick, and I am grateful for this. So thank you. So while I was at Siege, Austin stopped me and asked me, hey, can you help me out and give me, you know, some of your time for another panel? And I said, sure, what would you like me to do? He basically gave me a challenge to get several games or one game or whatever I wanted to do. It was a $5 challenge and I picked up three games. The first one was Cutthroat Island for the Game Gear. Jeopardy Sports Edition. And lastly was Great Baseball. I got this for a dollar because the only fact is this is damaged. But everything is complete, so I am just going to replace the case with something else. I don't care. I don't need the original. And I got me a game for a dollar, dude. So the next one I picked up is actually a comic. I was looking around for this for a while. I wanted it because I, for some reason, I don't know if I lost mine or what happened to it. But I could not find my first edition of Power Rangers the comic and thankfully it is in great condition and it was only $10. Why not? I said, you know, I'm probably never going to see this again in the wild in this how it's looking. And lastly, I got Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego. This was not at the convention, but it was technically when I was in South Carolina. I ran around with Nintendo, we went game hunting, and as an added treat, I found a complete inbox. I've been looking for this. I didn't care if it what, what system it was going to be on. I just wanted Carmen Sandiego when I wanted to look for her in time. So I can find her finally. 
So thank you guys for watching. And remember, you have to enter through Gleam. I am going to give you guys a week from there, from the time that I post this video. Thanks to Video Games Monthly for giving me... I want to put a link in the description for their website. So if you want to check it out, get a box for yourself, go for it. But this, there's no purchase required. All you have to do is follow Gleam, do what is required, and then I'll pick the winner. And I will do an announcement video later on. And from there, the person who gets this, you have to remember to message me either on Instagram or on Twitter to let me know where to send this once you find out you are the winner. So thank you guys for watching. If you are new, please subscribe and as always, keep on gaming. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, go to as many conventions as you can. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games